Well, it's day four of the auto workers strike. The United Auto Workers Union are now picketing against Detroit's big three auto companies after they failed to reach labor agreements over the weekend. Yeah, the strike is also now threatening the livelihoods of workers who haven't walked off the job. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest. This morning, nearly 13,000 auto workers are returning to the picket line. The United Auto Workers Union pressing ahead with this first ever simultaneous strike against Detroit's big three automakers. We're prepared to do whatever we have to do, so the membership is ready. The UAW says it held negotiations with General Motors and Ford over the weekend, reporting reasonably productive conversations with Ford. Chrysler and Jeep parent company Stellantis says its raise is hourly wage offer by nearly 21%. But still not enough for the UAW, which is demanding that the big three revive worker pensions, better retiree benefits, cost of living adjustments, and a 40% pay increase. They can barely make it. They deserve a living wage, and they need to be brought up to what we make. The automakers call the union's demands too costly as it takes on the added expense of building electric vehicles. The strike spurring reaction from Republicans and Democrats. I'm somebody that believes in free enterprise. I think, I think those are decisions that can be made by, by shareholders and creating pressure. If you work hard and play by the rules, you should be able to provide a comfortable living for yourself for your family. Now at least two automakers announcing temporary layoffs for non-striking workers, some 2,000 at GM and some 600 at Ford. UAW President Fain is slamming those auto worker cuts, saying the companies don't have to lay off a single employee, could double every worker's pay, not raise auto prices, and still make billions. The auto company CEOs not publicly responding. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.